I call you when I need you and my heart's on fire You come to me wild and wild You come to me and give me everything I need Give me a lifetime of promises and a world of dreams Speak the language of love like you know what it means And it can't be wrong Take my heart and make it strong, baby You're simply the best Better than all the rest Better than anyone Anyone I've ever met And I'm stuck on your heart I hang on every word you say Or tear us apart Baby, I would rather be dead In your heart I see the start of every night and every day In your eyes I get lost, I get washed away Just as long as I'm here in your arms I can be in no better place You're simply the best Better than all the rest Better than anyone Anyone I've ever met And I'm stuck on your heart I hang on every word you say Or tear us apart Baby, I'd rather be dead Oh, each time you leave me, I start losing control Like you're walking away with my heart and my soul I can feel you, babe, even when I'm alone Baby, don't let go, cause you're simply the best Better than all the rest Better than anyone Anyone I've ever met And I'm stuck on your heartbeat I ain't on every word you say Tear us apart Oh, well, I would rather be dead Ooh.
ברוכות הבאות תחת כנפי השכינה, ברוכים הבאים תחת כנפי השכינה. May you be blessed beneath the wings of שכינה. Be blessed with love, be blessed with peace. We welcome you all into God's presence under this sacred chupa, sacred canopy. With the ceremony of marriage, we link this moment and this place the two of you and all of us together with the most sacred and joyous moments of our existence. 
May the source of blessing and glory bless these loving companions, Cindy and Lars. Surrounded by loved ones whose joy and prayers are with you here, you stand at this chuppah, a symbol of the Jewish home. May your home be a Jewish home. May your home be a shelter against the storm, a haven of peace, a stronghold of faith and love. Let us all join in our prayer of gratitude. Amen. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, sovereign of all, for giving us life, for sustaining us, and for enabling us to reach this beautiful and sacred moment. I will now share a few sentences, a few little accolades about this beautiful and very, very special couple. Lars and Cindy, let me just say before I begin that I'm already missing you. And I hope to see you soon after your honeymoon. You guys really, really are 18. Cindy and Laura's romance was slow to start, but once they became aware of each other's presence, the sweet couple's love story was blooming fast. It all began thanks to a basketball game. After working for nearly 10 months at Shipco Transport, one day in January 2015, Cindy received four tickets from a vendor, vendor for, uh, for a basketball game. She did not want to go to this game because it was in the middle of winter and in Brooklyn, of all places. Cindy's boss, Robert, told her to offer the tickets to her co-workers, Lars, Karsten, and Michel. Michel, right? Michelle. Michelle, got it. She had asked them to find a fourth person, but since a fourth person could not be found, Cindy's, Cindy's arm was twisted and she ended going too. The merry four had dinner and continued on to the game. I agree with you over there. <laughs> Sitting next to each other, Lars and Cindy chatted and chatted during dinner as well as during the game. In fact, Cindy and Lars are still chatting and chatting. You see, these two never get bored with one another as they always seem to find something to chat about. In February of 2015, Cindy was in California on a business trip. While there, Lars called to wish her a happy Valentine's Day. That conversation lasted for five hours straight. That conversation lasted five hours straight. <laughs> They continued talking with each other every day until Cindy came back to Jersey and the couple have been together ever since. After dating for about three years, the couple's friends and families were so excited when Cindy and Lars got engaged on December the 23rd, 2017. As Lars describes it, their exciting news made everyone and this is not my words, that's Lars' words, <laughs> everybody go bananas. <laughs> Their family members were hugging and screaming, then they toasted and had champagne. And that, and that, what makes them so good together. Cindy loves Lars' outgoing personality. She loves his warm smile and describes him as one of the kindest, nicest, and most genuine men she's ever met. She adores the strong bond he maintains with his parents and friends in his native country, Denmark. Lars thinks Cindy is so cute. <laughs> I 
playing some uh, musical background over there. <laughs> Let me say this again. Lars thinks Cindy is so cute. He calls her the spark that lit up his life. He admires Cindy's organizational skills, her intelligence, and the fact that she accepts his culture with open arms. Lars loves Cindy's relationship with her family and the fact that they are all so very close. Both simply love being together. Their personalities complement one another. They love to travel, see new places, and experience different adventures. Cindy and Lars crack each other up as humor is one of the engines that keeps their love story moving forward on a lively track. Cindy and Lars, I think I can speak on behalf of everyone present here today. There is no doubt that you will continue to be an awesome and funny power couple. I know that your lively spirits will continue to inspire and uplift your friends and family, and that you will continue to open your home and hearts to all who know and love you. A heartfelt mazel tov to you both. Please join me in saying mazel tov. Mazel tov. Hold on, here's more. <laughs> the wedding ceremony consists of two parts. The first one, it was seen, is the Hebrew term for betrothal, when the bride and groom become sanctified or dedicated to one another with the exchange of rings. The second part, nisuin, is the actual marriage, immediately follows with the beautiful ancient Sheva Plechot, the seven blessings, the priestly benediction, and the final act of breaking of the glass. That will complete the ceremony under this chuppah. As you will share the wine from a single cup, so may you, under God's guidance, share contentment, peace, and fulfillment from the cup of life. May you find life's joys heightened, its bitterness sweetened, and all of its moments hallowed by true companionship and love. <laughs> Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, sovereign of the universe, creator of the fruit of the vine. Asher kideshanu b'mitzvotav, v'hitir lanu et anesuin v'hanesuot lanu, al yedei chupa v'kidushin, baruch ata Adonai, mekadesh amo Yisrael, al yedei chupa v'kidushin. We praise you, Adonai, our God, sovereign of the universe, who hallows us with mitzvot, and consecrates this marriage. We praise you, Adonai, our God, who sanctifies our people Israel through Kiddushin, the sacred rite of marriage at this chuppah. And now, I ask you, in the presence of God and this assembly, do you, Cindy, take Lars to be your husband, to love, to honor, and to cherish? and together create a future enriched by your commitment to Judaism and to one another. I do. Hold on. I do. <laughs> and do you, Lars, take Cindy to be your wife, to love, to honor, and to cherish, and together create a future enriched by your commitment to Judaism and one another. I do. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> For generations, we have used words and rings to create the sacred covenant of marriage. 
Lars and Cindy, you are about to speak the words and exchange the rings that will formally unite you in marriage. Lars, please repeat after me. Harei at Mekudeshetli Mekudeshetli Betabaat Betabaat Zo Zo Kedat Kedat Moshe Moshe Ve Israel Ve Israel Be consecrated to me Be consecrated to me With this ring With this ring As my wife As my wife In keeping In keeping With the heritage With the heritage of Moses and Israel. Of Moses and Israel. Cindy, repeat after me. Hare Ata. Hare Ata. Mekudash Li. Mekudash li betabaat betabaat zo zo kedat kedat Moshe Moshe ve Yisrael ve Yisrael be consecrated to me be consecrated to me with this ring with this ring as my husband as my husband in keeping in keeping with the heritage with the, with the heritage of Moses and Israel of Moses and Israel. focus now shifts to the next and final stage, the heart of the Jewish wedding ceremony, called Nisuin, the actual marriage, with the recitation of the Sheva Brachot, the seven blessings. These blessings contain themes that include the creation of the world and humankind, the importance of marriage, and the hope for harmony in our world. At this time, I would like to call up Aunt Melinda Gordon. Please come on up. Andrea Carbonet. Carbone. Aunt Andrea Carbone. And Aunt Kate Benston. Chata Adonai, Elohim Numerech Olam, Bore Peri Hagafen. Chata Adonai, Elohim Numerech Olam, Shehakol nibarab lichvodo. Aruchat Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam yotzer ha'adam. We praise you, Adonai our God, sovereign of the universe, creator of the fruit of the vine. We praise you, Adonai our God, sovereign of the universe, whose glory is revealed in all creation. We praise you, Adonai, our God, the sovereign of the universe, creator of humanity. Veit kin lo mi menu binyan ade a 
We praise you, Adonai, our God, sovereign of the universe. You formed us in your image and implanted in us the blessing of life's ongoing renewal. Blessed are you, Adonai, creator of humanity. Let Zion rejoice at her children's happy return. Blessed are you, Adonai. You allow those who have sown in tears to reap in joy. May these loving companions rejoice together with the joy you have set aside for them since the days of creation. Blessed are you, Adonai, who grants joy to this couple. This is the last and the seventh blessing. Some of you may recognize, feel free to sing it with me. We praise you, Adonai, our God, sovereign of the universe, creator of joy and gladness, love and companionship, laughter and song, pleasure and delight, harmony and celebration, peace and friendship. O oh God, may there forever be heard in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem the voices of joy and gladness, the voices of loving companions joined together in marriage, the voices of celebration and song. Blessed are you, Adonai, who causes this loving couple to rejoice together as one. And now we come to the part in our sermon in our service where Lars and Cindy are going to read to one another the vows that they wrote to each other. Please note that neither one of them has heard each other's vows yet. This is the first. Cindy? Lars. <laughs> yes. <laughs> As you know, our love story was slow to start. <laughs> we didn't speak to each other the first 10 months of knowing one another, but I did catch you staring at me a few times in the Shipko bar. When I caught you staring, I never imagined we would be here today. Lars, you are the love that I never saw coming. You are everything I never knew I always wanted. When we started dating, it was so easy and natural. We just fit. If there is one decision in my life that I know is the right one, it's to spend the rest of my life with you. There is an infinite number of things I love about you. I love your thoughtfulness and your ability to keep me grounded. I love your loyalty to me and our relationship. I know I have told you this before, but after our first trip to Denmark, I truly fell in love with you. 
I love seeing where you grew up, meeting all of your friends and family, and learning all of your family's traditions. I remember when we landed from that trip, you told me that I was one for you. You are the most caring, loving, sincere, and honest man I have ever met. You make me feel safe in your arms, and your laughter and humor can always put a smile on my face. Lars, I love you. You are my bestest friend. Today I am lucky enough to marry you and become your wife. I promise to always encourage and inspire you, to laugh with you and to comfort you in times of sadness and struggle. I promise to always love you unconditionally, in good times and in bad, when life seems easy and when it seems hard. I promise to always be open and honest, understanding and accepting, supportive and patient, loving and forgiving, and loyal and faithful. I promise to always respect your uniqueness and allow you to continue to grow as a person. I promise to be sensitive to your needs, desires, and dreams. I promise to always shower you with kisses, even when you say, Sadhu. <laughs> I promise to let you massage me daily because I know how much you love it. <laughs> I promise to let you tickle me once a week even though I hate it. I promise to continue calling you every cute name under the sun that starts with the letter P. <laughs> I promise to give, always give you the good snuggles and let you lie on me as I tickle your back. I promise to be the best wife I can be and the best mother to our future children. Lars, do er mean best of in, mean shale of in, o me lius carely hill. Yai bel else could die for even. And for those of you who do not know what I just said, I said, Lars, you are my best friend, my soulmate, and the love of my life. I will love you forever. Cindy, I love you. Oh, there's more. Sorry. I actually wrote them. Through my journey in life, I have met thousands of people, but never met anyone as special as you. I knew, our, I knew after our first phone conversation that there was a magical spark between us. Today, four years later, we stand in front of each other. It's like a fairy tale coming through. We come from different places and different cultures. And while we're different, we're so alike in so many ways. While I'm sure you always dreamt about meeting, uh, marrying a blonde Viking from the north, <laughs> even though you had never heard or met anyone from Denmark before, you are not the girl I had imagined I would marry. You are someone much better. I'm so happy our paths crossed that one night when Michelle made us go to that basketball night. Some will say it's fate, some will say it's destiny, some will say it's coincidence, or maybe all three. I don't know. But what I do know is that meeting you is one of the best things that could ever happen to me. No one, no one has ever taken so good care of me before. You do so many things for me and help me, and help me more than I could ever ask for. You make me a better person in life. You have embraced my culture like I embrace yours and we are getting the best of, from both worlds. We make such a good team, and we will make even a, greater, a better family. Every day is a true blessing to be with you. You make me happy every day. You're my soulmate and partner in crime. You're my light in the darkest days and nights. You are more than I could ever wish for. I'm proud and humble that you have chosen to be with me. We from the North remember us. I will always remember today. Today is the happiest day of my life. You are my queen from this day and on to my last. I love you so much. I pledge my alliance to you. I promise I will always be your best friend. I promise that I will always be by your side and I'll always be there and, and be there for you on your happiest days and the saddest days. I promise that I'll be honest and faithful. I promise that I will always keep our family safe. I promise you I will honor our marriage and family I promise you that I will try and make less mess after cooking. <laughs> I promise to always marry you. This is my promise to you. <laughs> In 
In the presence of these witnesses and in keeping with Jewish tradition, you have spoken the words and performed the rites that unite your lives. Lars and Cindy, you are now husband and wife in the sight of God, the Jewish community, and all people. You may now kiss each other. I love you too. This tallit is an embracing symbol of the covenant between God and the Jewish people. As we are reminded of the mitzvot, commandments by the fringes on its corners. Today, we envelop you, Cindy and Lars, into the folds of this tallit as a symbol of your entry into our covenant with God and the people of Israel. At this time, we also recall in loving memory family members of Cindy and Lars. These loved ones are not physically here to share our simcha, but their presence in spirit is most definitely here with us today. We lovingly think of Cindy's grandparents, Saul and Rhoda Gordon, Cindy's grandparents, Stephen and Lenore Server, Lars' grandparents, Aikil and Lilin E. It is now my true honor to bestow upon the two of you God's blessing. Yevarechecha Adonai veyishmerecha, may God bless you and keep you. Ya'er Adonai panav elecha v'ichuneka, may God's light shine upon you and be gracious to you. Isa Adonai panav elecha v'yasem lecha shalom, may you always be blessed with internal and external peace. As we all say together, Amen. We conclude the ceremony with the traditional breaking of the glass. The shattered glass symbolizes the fragility of our relationships and reminds us that we must treat our bond with special care. The breaking of glass, like the commitment you make today, is spiritually binding and perpetual. And on the lighter note, as humor is obviously appropriate to be present here in this couple's wedding, this custom is also thought by some to be the last time our groom ever gets to put his foot down. <laughs> as you hear the sound of the breaking of the glass, I invite everyone to shout, hold on, mazel tov, which means congratulations and good luck which will also be followed by Simon Tov and Mazel Tov. I'll show you the glass. It's, uh, it's beautiful, almost heartbreaking to break it. I was told it is breakable, so now we all bow our hands, our heads, and pray that it does.